And I'll tell you something that I learned to do when I was arguing with my wife, which happened quite frequently. Because when you actually communicate with people, you find out that there's many things that you don't agree on. And that's because you're actually different creatures. And so, if you're actually going to have a truthful conversation, then you're going to find out that you don't see things the same way. And then you can either pretend that that's not the case and gloss over it and then end up in a 30-year silent war. Or you, can, or you can have the damn fight when you need to have it and see if you can straighten it out. So now and then we'd get in a situation where we were at loggerheads, we couldn't move. And, you know, it would spiral up into hate speech, let's say. Because, yeah, everyone laughs because they know they manifest plenty of hate speech towards those they love. So, one of the things we learned to do was, when we hit, hit an impasse, was to separate and to go our own ways and to go sit and think, okay, look, we're at this unpleasant situation. We can't figure out how to move forward. I'd always think, of course it's her fault. Obviously it's her fault. At least 95%. But maybe there was something I did that contributed like 5% to it. And so I would sit and think and ask myself a question, which was, is there anything I did in the last six months that increased the probability that this impasse would manifest itself? And I'll tell you, you have no idea how fast your mind will generate an answer to a question like that. Because there's undoubtedly some idiotic thing that you did, that you know, that you remember, that increased the probability that you're going to have your hands around the throat of the person that you love. And then you can go tell them that. And then you can have a conversation. Especially if they do the same thing. Say, look, you know, here's how I'm an idiot in this situation. And the other person says, well, yeah, here's how I'm an idiot. And then you're two idiots, and then maybe you can have a conversation. 